The poor spark finally wrecked. I beat it up too much. So today on the Everyday DJI Spark Guy, we're gonna test the obstacle avoidance on the new DJI Spark. That was a, that was a joke, because all I've been talking about is the Spark, and not like my normal stuff. But I just want you to know that it's because I'm so excited about this, I've had so much fun just playing with it, um, that I just kinda wanna get everything I wanna say out, and then we'll go back to the normal, the normal Everyday Dad. Not the, I'm not changing the name of the, the show. Maybe. So one of the new features that the DJI Spark has is it's supposed to have this 3D sensor that's supposed to make the most intelligent obstacle avoiding drone that DJI currently makes. And there's no better place to test it than back out on the trail. So we're back at my favorite local mountain bike trail and we're gonna go on the trail this time and see can the DJI Spark, and we're gonna see, can the DJI Spark actually avoid some trees. Now this is not the most technical trail out there. It's, it's a pretty easy trail, but there are, as you can see, you know, there's a lot of trees out there. So we'll see, can it dodge it, can it not dodge it? Stay tuned, let's go right out there. All right, we made it to the trail. We're in a nice little wooded open spot. Let's try it out. I'm still working on figuring out the gesture controls. All right, we're logging into the app. We're gonna set it to active track like we did last week, but this time, so it can only obstacle avoid in the front. You saw that 3D sensor. So we're gonna set it to active track and directly behind me and see how well it does at avoiding the trees. So at this point in the video, I lost all the drone footage. I don't know what happened, it's corrupted. Can't use any of it. So what we're gonna do is I went back out to my local multi-use path. It has a tree line on both sides of the path with enough overhanging trees that I can still prove the point that I'm trying to prove with that. But we're gonna put a bar that says reenactment and I want you to imagine, use your imagination, that it's still in the woods, it's still on the epic trail, everything's awesome. So my spark finally wrecked. It took three major hits though and did not stop flying. So good on the durability front. All right, let's try it real quick just to make sure it still works. Three major hits, still flying. That's durable. Boom. 
So we'll head home real quick, check the footage, see how the obstacle avoidance does. Initial impressions, not as high speed as the tech demo made it seem. From the video I saw online, it's supposed to be able to sense an object and then avoid it. And the obstacle avoidance we had today was it saw an object and then just stopped and hovered. Which is good, I appreciate it didn't wreck itself or destroy itself. But if you're gonna say obstacle avoidance, that doesn't mean obstacle stop, that means here's an obstacle, let's avoid it so we can keep getting footage. Still love the drone, but I want to see how the footage looks, because it did follow me for a bit. It did avoid some of, the, uh, some of the trees out here, so I'm very excited to see how it looks. See you back at the office. Alright, so got back, no footage, all the footage corrupted. Like I said, we had the reenactment uh, that showed us how the obstacle avoidance in the DJI Spark works. To be quite honest, pretty disappointed. I think there's three main features that the Spark was sold on. One, convenience. It's a tiny drone, you should be able to take it anywhere. Two, the new 3D sensor for obstacle avoidance, and three, gesture controls. So far, I can only get one of those to work efficiently, and that's the small convenience of it. The gesture controls, I can get to work about 50% of the time. I've only been able to get that wave to work once. Um, so maybe there'll be a firmware update where the camera and the sensor work a little bit better together. But I really am disappointed in the obstacle avoidance. As I was saying earlier, there's that tech demo that shows the spark coming to an obstacle, going around it, and then continuing to film. I didn't get that to happen at all today. What I got to happen was the drone's flying, it senses an obstacle, and then it stops. There's no dodging, there's no moving, uh, it just stops. Just like the Mavic, just like the... I don't have a Phantom 4, but I assume like how the Phantom 4 does. Um, so I'm pretty disappointed. I was hoping for a more robust sensing avoidance system than what the Spark has. But talking about footage, uh, if you saw my last video about the comparison footage between the Mavic and the Spark, uh, so there is a way, and if you see a lot of Spark videos online, they do look pretty jumpy. There's like a jumpy quality to it. And what I found for that is, since the Spark only films in 1080p by 30 frames per second, there's no way to change that. Uh, so if you're, do, if you're filming like on a DSLR or a mirrorless camera and you're filming at 24 frames per second, uh, and then you edit that footage and the footage comes out at a standard 24 frames per second That's where you get the jumpy spark filming uh, When I change it and I force my camera to film in 30 frames per second To match up with the sparks 30 frames per second I have no issues with the footage if you like I said if you look at the last video where I compare the images both of that set of footage looks really crisp and clear in my opinion I still think the DJI spark is a fantastic drone it is incredibly convenient. However, obstacle avoidance, I think we need to not call it that. It is obstacle stopping or it's obstacle doesn't crash sometimes. I mean, you saw it, it did still crash for me. Well, hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. If you like learning about drones, you like learning about 3D printers, you like learning new things in general, click that subscribe button down below and join the rapidly growing um, community we have here. I really find it awesome that the community here has gotten way bigger, way faster than I anticipated. So thanks everybody for subscribing. I hope you really enjoy the videos. Also, if you like the video, leave a comment below. I've had a lot of really great conversations with a lot of really great subscribers and non-subscribers about every topic I talk about. It's And that's what I really like about YouTube is TV shows, you just sit back and watch those. Radio, well you're kind of trapped and you have to listen to it. But YouTube, you have a chance to interact with me if you have questions about my videos, if you just wanna stop and have a conversation. I love the community that YouTube can build. That's where we, we all feel like we're part. I mean, I'm the everyday dad, but we're all really the everyday family. It's, I just, I, I'm gushing, I'm a huge fanboy. I've been a fan of YouTube since, a long time, way before I started making videos. I've been watching YouTube for years. 
And that's what I've always enjoyed is that you can reach directly out to a content creator and ask them questions and they should be able to respond to you really quickly. So comment below if you have something you want to say. We won't talk about the DJI Spark forever, I promise. There will be more other things. Uh, I only really have two more Spark videos I want to make and that's once I get the controller in a couple weeks. Uh, I want to compare the, or I want to do the full review of the drone, but I want to wait until I have the controller to make a definitive statement on it. Because I do think there's a lot of functionality you're missing when you don't have the full set. And a second battery, if you're going to get one of these, uh, I really need a second battery. I've had one on order since I got this. And a second battery I would almost say is mandatory. But it's a fantastic drone. I don't mean to continue to talk about it. But thanks everybody for joining. I hope you enjoy the videos. I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out that this thing doesn't actually have obstacle avoidance, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching.